Hi guys, so in today's review, we are going to take a look at Flex OS on the sorry uh, on U Euphoria as you can see. So I purchased this device because it was running a Cyanogen OS after all. So I already have a device which is all time running a Cyanogen OS and touch with as you can see a Galaxy S4 over here. But I never made any ROM review, but this time I had to make one because uh, I tried this Flex OS and I noticed that there is no battery drain, ideal battery drain on this uh, ROM even if you have Wi-Fi and any other uh, thing running on, I will show you later on. But let me just tell you that I am starting a bit of a Q&A sessions as my exams will uh, get over. So please follow me on Instagram, I will post a picture on the Instagram. So you have to just leave a comment Q&A and post your question with it and I will try to answer it in my next video. So let's get into it. Let's just first boot it up because the boot animation is also quite cool. Sorry if I sound a bit off, I'm pretty sick right now. Tension of the exams. As you can see, looks very nice. This power by Android is a bit offset on the right over here. Maybe you not noticed it on the camera. That's actually good. And every uh, other boot, it just optimized 28 as, but it just fine as you can see. It uh, optimized it quickly. It's uh, kind of confusing. This Snapdragon 14 doesn't do it that fast. Maybe some issue later be fixed. As you can see, standard Cyanogen OS. But I have uh, some experiencing uh, touch lags, even if touch boost was uh, on. But uh, here right now it's been fixed I guess and uh, I'm running a velocity kernel for uh, 1.9 gigahertz what you say overclock also the GPU is overclocked but it doesn't affect the battery drain at all like I tested it with uh, 1.9 gigahertz with all day and I was totally surprised so as you can see standard it comes with a Cyanogen snap camera. First of all, try that. And it's quite nice. Major upgrade through that uh, Google ish one. Let me just turn uh, down the brightness a bit. So, as you can see, you can add a task manager over here. As you can see, I can directly kill all the applications from here, which is cool. And also, the lag is not at present over here, as you can see. Just like a flagship phone, you just touch an app and it just opens. Bam. And let me just show you, as you can see, 77%. And I charged this phone uh, like uh, 4 days ago, I guess. And I used it a bit today. As you can see, very smooth. But uh, it's a little bit surprising like if you touch the app and it just opens but currently the file manager is not working i can't get it to work i don't know wha what's happening but that's only the issue as you can see touch the app and it directly opens pretty cool now the calendar is even but okay so this one also opened pretty fast totally awesome so let's get to the settings and show you the real deal as you can see pretty much stock one you do get themes over here cyanogen base after all but you do get flex control over here so basically in flex control you can uh, add omni switch like resurrection remix i guess status bar controls uh, pretty much normal one as you can see the task manager option is over there Sorry if the camera is not focused. And recent apps, oops. Okay. Maybe let's just not try that right now. Um, animation central. Oh yes. And there are pretty much uh, nice animation as you can see. Moki style and uh, other effects. Which is also cool to try. As you can see, you get Super SUS standard, 
no cyanogen mod root which you also get in this show you about phone flex os android 6.0.1 and we just go to the gallery to show you one amazing thing screenshots so i charge this phone at 100% at night and uh, basically if you had tried the siddesh uh, cyanogen mode 13 build if you charge it till 100 and not use it at all like nothing no apps install as you can see only screen the uh, 0% but still you get uh, around 77 to 80 80% on the morning but i just checked it uh, on the morning and it was still 100% like how as you can see it was 246 in the pm still it was at 100% like this is just insane as you can see 100 percent all the way i was just taking screenshots but as soon as i fired up an app it just dropped from 100 to 95 which is obvious there uh, there was some bit of a calibration issue but i just checked it like uh, if you open an app and keep it like on other builds uh, without wi-fi like if i opened a whatsapp and keep it like that just plain i would get like a 40 percent battery battery drain but i just checked it on with the wi-fi on i kept it like that 95 percent wi-fi on the story is also on as you can see running in the background i woke up in the morning and it was 94 percent like how only the wi-fi took about 0.1 percent of that which is totally insane like how the developer managed the dose mode to optimize that much with uh, fluidity like this so i will do recommend to check out this rom flex os as you can see no lags at all totally cool rom actually and please give a thumbs up if you want to see more rom reviews of you euphoria from me and thanks for watching. Peace. It's not closing the.